the flux gates are really a, a device that's uh, a coil of wire that's wound around a very highly permeable magnetic material. And the, the magnetic core, the permeable material, can sense the uh, magnetic fields around it and can be used for measuring the, the Earth's field or for compassing purposes or detecting distortions in the Earth's magnetic field due to metallic objects, ferro metallic objects nearby. So here are a couple of images of the different states that flux gates are available. The basic sensor can be readily obtained, but it requires more expertise on the integrator to fold it into their system. Uh, PC board based flux gates are also available, which package the, at least have the electronics and the uh, power processing available on the board. So that level of integration has been done for you. And then of course the full turnkey assemblies, which are uh, electronics sensor and packaging uh, ready to be mounted in your uh, application. There's a little bit more detail about how these flux gates are made. There's typically a ribbon of this highly permeable material that is wrapped around a non-magnetic core. The core, that assembly is then wound with a primary turn, much like a transformer. That's the excitation turn. And then the outside is wound once again, once it's installed in a frame to get the pickup winding so that that supplies the sense element of where your signal's coming from. At this level, again, the, the, you just have the raw sensor and a, a significant amount of integration is needed by the, the customer to outfit the circuitry, any of the digital input or output, and, and all of the mechanical packaging. Next level up is an assembly uh, that has the FlexGate sensor itself attached to PC boards with the full electronics. And again, these flux gates are available in standard configurations, or uh, they can be generated as uh, semi-customer custom uh, configurations, as, as can these next level up PC board assemblies. Again, that relieves some of the burden of the integration on the, uh, that the customer might have to go through, because the electronics is already done for you. And again, at the very top end, the sensors, the electronics, and the packaging are all available in numerous configurations, both analog and digital output from small form factor to full desktop instrument. Um, the level of sophistication is such that the end user really doesn't need to know uh, very much to get these instruments up and running. And again, standard products are available as well as new products that we can develop for you. So of the two di different categories, we have an analog sensor and a series and a digital sensor series. And the analog sensor series has been designed to output a voltage that is scaled to the magnetic field strength. And typical parameters for that would be the orthogonality between the axes is on the order of two tenths of a degree. Um, alignment with the package is similar. Uh, linearity is usually on the order of 0.1%. Um, noise levels are quite low. They're in the 0.3 nanotesla category. And frequency responses are typically between DC and 400 hertz, depending on the model. Uh, and again, the sensitivity is, is the voltage per, in this case, the units are gauss. So it's plus or minus uh, four volts per gauss is what this particular unit is showing. Now the, the digital inputs or the digital outputs, excuse me, are um, can handle either a, an ASCII mode or a binary mode as their data packet, and can output packets in the order of seventy to one hundred and forty packets a second. Um, the, the bandwidths are on the order of seventy hertz because you have so much digital processing now. But the outputs are available in RS two thirty two. Uh, standard TTL levels and can handle baud rates from 9,600 to 38K baud. The electrical parameters, the noise levels and the accuracy and dynamic range are again, very similar to what you'd find in the analog units, 
simply because the, the front end sensors are coming from the same source. So here's a typical set of values you might find in the range of sensors that are available where the sensitivity can go as, as low as uh, 60 volts per microtesla to as high as uh, 1,000 volts per microtesla. Um, range, instrument range is between 60 microtesla and 500 microtesla. Uh, linearities can go, again, from 1% to 0.05%. They can get very accurate. Noise levels also can be from 0.03 nanotesla to 2 nanotesla, depending on the customer application. Orthogonality is usually between, as we said before, between 2 and 0.2 degrees, depending on the level of sophistication that you buy. And the frequency responses, again, range from DC to 400 hertz, depending on uh, application-specific requirements. So the interfaces available for the analog, of course, it's always some analog voltage, which is proportional to the uh, applied magnetic field. But digital has the choice of, again, of ASCII or binary data. Uh, and the data rates can be anywhere from 10 to 250 packets per second, depending on the model and, and the setting. Um, interfaces available are, are RS-232, RS-422, and standard TTL, with, as I said before, baud rates in the uh, 9600 to 38.4K uh, baud category. And sizes, weights, and powers vary tremendously depending on make and model. You know, they're everything from the small ones, which are three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch, all the way to two and a half by two and a half inches. And the weight changes accordingly from 18 grams to 100 grams. Um, Power is the biggest notice effect is that it ranges from basically an eighth of a watt to 1.8 watts, depending on what you've chosen as your options. A little bit about applied physics systems. Uh, we're a, a provider of a mag magnetometer and gravity-based sensors, accelerometers, and, and systems. Uh, we've been doing that for over 40 years, uh, manufacturing uh, sensors for co commercial uses uh, across sort of a wide range of industries and applications. Uh, we're located in Mountain View, California, and we also have offices in Houston, in Calgary, and in Beijing. And currently, we have about 65 employees, and we have a full engineering staff.